So I wanted to give you guys an update on the land. If you guys heard my video about my mom um, being activated to her purpose and that she um, bought the lot of land next to where our cabin is. And it's up in Montana uh, in the Barb Marshall Wilderness on 22 beautiful acres. There isn't really like um, main roads out there, but we're going to purchase this one lot and put a market and we just had our first official business meeting um, two nights ago and we agreed on a name and my mom is getting the LLC for it. So I can't share that with you just yet. I can share our little slogan, which is don't bite the apple because it's a judgment free zone. And my mom came up with that. So I just thought that was so adorable. So we've um, been discussing, you know, it's just been, it's been epic to be able to talk to my mom about these things that, you know, us spiritual people talk about <laughs> and uh, I was just really respecting each other and our mastery and I've been getting nothing but like amazing messages from Jesus about this whole thing and how we are creating like a city of light in different dimensions all across the planet and no matter what happens on this three-dimensional um, plane of existence, this illusion, there is places on the planet that are anchoring in this higher vibration that will pretty much be immune to any of the lower density um so um one of the things that my mom is really interested in is doing weddings and events and i have you know my mastery is spiritual awakenings and working with couples. So I was getting all of these downloads about, you know, how when you get married in some churches, they have you go through um, counseling with the minister or the spiritual leader. Well, I was thinking that, or I was getting the download to do events with the bride and groom to take them through an intensive um, basically take them through an intensive of everything that's going to come up within the first couple of years of marriage, make sure that we get all those that things couples, you know, they, because I feel like the way that it is now, it's like when I know that when I've experienced when people telling me like, oh, we have to go through this, whatever the church wants us to do, it's like always seems like a chore um, that's not really the angle that I'm looking for. I'm looking for like, if you want to work intensively with me and you're going to get married and you and your partner want to come and just allow me to like insert myself into your life so that I can help you where there's like little communication, you know, issues and where there's trauma that's being suppressed, you know, that you just to work through all of those little things that come up that create barriers between our ability to connect with one another and I just see it as this like beautiful process and then rebirth and what then... a better way to celebrate the rebirth process than um, a marriage and but be getting married on this other you know this higher dimension of consciousness where it's not just this is what you do because X, Y, and Z, like, no, people should be getting married because they just love each other so much and their life is better together. And, you know, um, I don't really believe in the whole logistics of marriage. I mean, marriage to me is kind of gross. It, it feels like more so of ownership and for convenience than because of true love and intimacy and I feel like having a space creating a space where that can be birthed is so necessary and, and also um you know people that have been married for years and 
maybe they've tried regular counseling and it just hasn't worked and they want to try like one last thing and say they come and like we either figure out if they are compatible and there's just these things that are in the way that we can resolve or if they're simply just not compatible and then they have that ability to leave with a clean break so that there's no you know ties that bind us together and and make us feel like we can't leave something that's over or that we might have grown past or that we just might have been getting into for the wrong reasons but if if the marriage is you know salvageable and it comes out on the other side reborn then to renew the the wedding vows and last year when i had my intentional community and i had people actually i had 22 different people 22 just keeps coming up uh, I had 22 different people come stay with me in less than a year and it became kind of a joke because everyone that was coming to stay with me, it didn't even matter. Like they would fall in love with somebody else who was in the house and then they would leave together. And I was like, I am like an like unintentional matchmaker of some kind. Like even two girls fell in love that weren't even lesbians. Like, um, and so... It, this wouldn't just be for like people to get married like um i feel i see doing retreats for all people and just allowing for love to be birthed in every avenue and aspect and not just between two people but between the relationship that we have with god and ourselves us. so i'm so excited to get started and i just can't wait for the building phases but I know for me personally, if I heard somebody talking about something like this, like I would want to know details, I would want to see pictures, I would just want to know lots of things. But so I don't have any um, videos from what the land looks like now because everything's been cleared. Um, both of the cabins have been taken down and a lot of the trees. But I did find this video that I did about two years ago. Um, just with me and my daughter and my mom, we went out there and we were just having a day full of memories. And so I'll post a link in the description below to that video if you guys want to check it out and just see, kind of get a feel for um, the energy of where this beautiful sanctuary is going so to be. Created. I'll post a, a link in the description for that video and just know that like a lot of the trees have been cleared and both cabins have been removed and everything in the universe is really backing this and and I um I suggested that my mom keeps working with Mary at least once a month just so we keep her you know awake and on the path because it's so easy to become awakened and then fall back asleep when it's all we know and we're breaking so many of our patterns and habits so I'm just really excited to share this all with you and I can't wait till we're all together and we can dance and just have such a great time and you guys can all visit and I'm just so excited. So. This is Kendra, the Divine Purpose Mentor. If you guys want to work one-on-one -on -one with me or if you are wanting to do any type of couples work, you can reach me at KendraDivinePurposeMentor.com and all of your donations are definitely appreciated and accepted through PayPal and pretty much every platform you can find me at Kendra Divine Purpose or Kendra Divine Purpose Mentor. All right, I love you guys.